Welcome. Welcome to this entry lesson on climate data discovery using the Copernicus Climate Change Service, also often referred to as C3S. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to make a more informed and more efficient search in the enormous wealth of data that C3S has to offer. In this lesson, I will teach you three things. First of all, I will talk about the difference between weather and climate and how this difference may be relevant for the management decisions that you have to make in your job. Next, we will address the different sources of climate data that exist. Have these data been actually observed using weather stations, satellites or other means? Or have these data been generated with the use of climate models? There are pros and cons for each of these data types that are relevant for the usage that you might, might want to make of them. Finally, I will address strategies and selection criteria to find the data that you need. Let's now start with the difference between weather and climate. The difference between weather and climate is a measure of time. Weather is what conditions of the atmosphere are over a short period of time. Climate is the average behavior of the atmosphere over relatively long periods of time. Weather is what you typically experience when you are outdoors or a snapshot of the atmosphere like you see in this picture. It varies over time scales from hours up to a few days. Contrary, the time scale of climate is many years to many decades. It is about the typical difference between a summer and a winter season or between a dry or a rainy season that you normally expect. It is expressed in natural vegetation patterns or the extent of glaciers and ice caps. Therefore, normally we speak about desert climate or polar climate, just to name two extremes. By convention, climatologists use 30-year periods to define a climate in numbers. This is a kind of compromise between being long enough a period to obtain well-defined statistics, while at the same time it is short enough to consider the climate to be constant or stationary. Finally, there's something in between, climate variability. Climate variability is often related to well-known phenomena like El Niño, or perhaps more relevant for the European area, the North Atlantic Oscillation. The time scale of climate variability is between months and seasons up to years. Climate variability is often expressed as an anomaly. An anomaly is the difference between a particular season in a particular year and the climatological average for that season. This difference between weather and climate is directly linked to the type of decisions that you have to make in the sector that you work in. Here you see some examples for the water sector. Weather is relevant for day-to-day -day incremental management decisions that you have to make. Climate variability is relevant for more systemic decisions that allow you to anticipate on the coming season. Climate and climate change are relevant for decisions that have a long-term impact large investments of a more transformational nature. The following slides give you some examples for a few sectors more. Here for the agricultural sector and here for the energy sector. Please think about what the difference between weather and climate imply for the type of decisions that you have to make. Here a final example for the insurance sector. This concludes the lessons on climate and weather.